as always, all the things on screen are the things I'm going to be looking at and talking about throughout the course of this video. And in this video, we have got a high kill game with the Sturmgewehr 1.5 from Hassan Khan. So let's get stuck straight into this video. So straight at the start of the game, he's doing a good play by pushing and trying to get a flank on all the enemies right at the start who are pushing mid-map to meet the rest of our teammates. But you're going to see a little bit of a lack of awareness here by not checking left first. And you always want to check your back before you go on a flank. And so uh, there's a few instances of that throughout the course of this game. In this clip, we have a rotational mistake. Look at the top here. He's pushing towards D flag, which the enemies have already captured. If he'd pushed into the building at the start, which is the main power position I always talk, ab talk about in between D and C flag, he would have been able to capture or catch all enemies pushing from D flag to the center of the map. C flag, which you can see at the top there now, is now being captured by the enemies, which had just pushed from D flag. So he's pushed all the way onto D flag. Uh, which is already captured by the enemies, so of course the enemies aren't going to be on a flag which they've already captured unless they're going to spawn and defend it, which is only a few. And you can see they've already captured C flag. He could have pushed in between, in the power position, in the center, in the middle, captured the enemies coming from D flag and been able to get to C flag quicker. He does then take a death, but you can see here if I just pause it for a second on that spawn, the majority of enemies are going to be in between A B and C flag, but he's going to spawn on D and it's going to spawn him, as you will see in a second, really far away from the action, even on D flag. So the ideal spawn here in this case is going to be on A flag, being able to push straight to C and B and capturing all the enemies, of which the majority are going to be pushing towards A, not pushing towards D. This, as you can then see, is going to take quite a lot of time to get back into the action and to find enemies to start killing. And at the end of the clip, he is going to take a death. Uh, so, you know, it's wasted, you know, almost a minute or two. The death, obviously putting him into the death screen as well. Um, so, yeah, just not the ideal spawn there. Um, but there's going to be some positives in here. And I know uh, I'm being more, uh, criticizing more than I am being positive. But that's the, the main purpose of these videos. So, um, next spawn here, again, the same spawn should be A, but he's spawning on E flag, which is the enemy's uh, spawn flag. Now, yes, the enemies are going to be spawning there, but it's only going to be the low level, uh, unskilled players. Only a few of them spawning in this spawn to come and capture this spawn flag. The majority of enemies you can see there at the top, B, C and D, are going to be pushing A flag. Now, let me just replay that there. You can see his main style for gunfights is to lean non-stop left and right. Now this really isn't ideal and you'll see him do it again in just a second. You're going to be missing a lot of bullets on a target which is just standing still in a gunfight with you and when you lean so many times like that you can't jump or move around very quick. It makes you, uh, it's like you're standing in quicksand. So when you're leaning like that all the time you're missing easy shots. Um, my tip there is just lean once. So at least if you're, uh, if you're up against someone with a shotgun, uh, just basically anything, once you both aim in on each other, at least lean while you aim in so you have to make the other enemy adjust uh, at, at the same time. But if you're leaning multiple times, you're slowing yourself down, you're lowering your, lowering your accuracy, um, and that's going to get you killed uh, quite a lot of times, and you will see it throughout most gunfights uh, like there in, in this game. Now, before we move into some positives, the final improvement I've noticed to sit and to say about is the use of cover when in gunfights. So you can see here, he could easily use the cover here on the left and just lean to the right. He's got the full body of this enemy to aim at, but he just runs straight past the cover, which he could use, and obviously goes into a full body versus full body 1v1 gunfight, which is just not needed. So it needs to be able to use cover more. Like, I would rather run and jump to cover while an enemy is shooting at me before shooting back at the enemy in most cases because, uh, you know, that allows you, if you're standing behind cover while taking on one enemy and they've only got your head to aim at, you could effectively take on three or four enemies. So always try and go to cover first. Even if an enemy starts shooting at you first, it's often best to go to cover if it's within range. Now, let's talk about some positives. The main positive here, which we've just seen at the start of you know the last 20 seconds, 30 seconds of the clip, is that is one of the main little mini power positions at the center of the map there, on top of the organ uh, in the church on C flag. And he stayed on top of 
uh, you know, you'd stay on top of the organ. Anne is staying around the center of the mid map here on C flag, which is the main big power position. C flag is the main big power position. And he's sticking around, staying on C flag. All the enemies are moving in and around this flag. All the flags are around it. It's an equal distance in the center of the map. Um, so just really good use of a power position when he's got it and not being too over aggressive and pushing off trying to just fight and kill the enemy. So, you know, he's got he had the high ground on the organ and he stayed there and used it, uh, which is really good. You know, if you've got the power, if you've got the power position, you've got the high ground in that case. Um, it's very good to see that he's not being over aggressive and jumping off just to quickly get one kill and throwing himself out into the open where he could easily be killed then by many other enemies. So, uh, you know, defending the position he was supposed to be defending. But <laughs> as you can as you can see again there, the leaning luck, the enemy walked into his sight there for the for the bullets to to kill the enemy. Uh, but using that leaning too many times, he leaned off the target. So that's why it can relook and again here. The enemies there would have been like if you just stayed still shooting in one straight line there both enemies lined up in you know lined up for you but by leaning you know they got they got you back um so yeah let's get into the next clips so another positive in this clip is you've got the enemy there the good thing here is he's repositioning keeping his distance from that this enemy and attacking from a different uh, position so that was really good you know you're not chasing the enemy through the only one route way to get to that enemy to try and get into close quarters he's repositioned to a more strategic position and taking the enemy out taking the enemy out unexpectedly so um, that is something which is also very good and that shows good patience and not being over aggressive but rewind 20 seconds there Look at the flags. The enemy's got C flag and D flag. They're going to be going to D flag. He could use the power position through the buildings, close quarters, suitable for this weapon. But he runs down the main road. The enemies are coming from the right there from C, and he gets sh shot out in the open. So could have made a much better play there going in, into the power position, in between D and C flag, and you know, creating a choke point, taking out the enemies as they run from C flag to D flag. Now we're seeing some good rotation here. A flag and B flag is being contested, so that's not where you're going to want to be pushing. He's pushed up onto the main power position here, overlooking E flag. The best option there would have been to stay on that power position with all the enemies pushing from this spawn, you know, to mid map, literally straight past the windows he was standing in. But what I like here is that he's going to use cover, like I mentioned, the exact same type of wall, which I mentioned previously at the start of the video. But he could be using semi-automatic tap fire at this range rather than burst fire. It's a bit out of range for burst fire. Um, and you can see how strong tap fire is with a Sturm Gewehr uh, for the first time here. So my first time there inserting a bit of clip just as evidence to show uh, what I mean. So hopefully that was uh, quite useful. Uh, so yeah, just learning when to... Learning, especially when using the Sturm Gewehr, when to go into burst fire and then obviously when to go into tap fire range. Now, as we progress further through this clip, again, it's fighting on C flag. There is only one real rotational play here, which is going towards, towards D flag, uh, which of course he is doing. Uh, and you will see in a second again, there's, a re there's, there's enemies down the street here. He's using leaning. He's going to reload moving into cover which is of course you know the standard thing you should always be doing as you can see there uh, but again here this is tap fire range the enemy is you know on a head glitch almost behind those pieces of wooden debris uh, so you know there you want to be going into tap fire and popping off just two or three bullets for easy headshot kills so we're getting into the final few clips of the game you can see the leaning uh, there again uh, but giving my overall opinion on what I've seen, what are the pros and cons of this of his gameplay style, he still hit 78 kills in this game, top of the leaderboard. But there is clear room for there for improvement. You know, he knows he's not too over aggressive, which I really like. You know, he he knows when he's in a good position uh, and he, and he uses it uh, because that's the best way to take on multiple enemies, stay alive, and to stay alive. Uh, and a lot of the rotational decisions are good. It's more so knowing uh, the, sp the spawn decisions to be making for the right rotation. You know, where would you be moving to on the map if you've got the chance to spawn? Can how how close can you spawn to that place you would like to be if you were actually already just playing the game? 
but you know in, tom in terms of his normal gunplay there's no massive issues there around reloading uh, it's mainly you know knowing the range to start using burst and tap fire more often to increase your accuracy because you will get kills quicker using burst and tap fire than you will um you know in full auto at some of these ranges uh quick tip you can see here as he's capturing d the enemy is capturing c flag there so you should you know you should be moving there to c flag ahead of the enemies to capture them before they get off of c flag and have captured it um but yeah overall though again the burst fire the tap fire um the leaning you know just lean once rather than multiple times because you're lowering your lowering your accuracy and uh, you're, you're hindering your movement ability um, but yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much it. Learning to use tap fire and burst fire, not leaning too much, um, and just you know stick into what you're already doing, making sure you use you can play you're playing aggressive, but you're also being conservative uh, when you've got a good position. Thank you everyone for watching. Smash the like, and we'll see you on the next one. Introduction, cause they know Bring it more, I hit the lot on my model Roll up gelato and throttle A couple models to Kyle who fucking